Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video. I'm still working on photos from my New York trip. These are actually photos from Sift Bakery, which is in Mystic, Connecticut. And I actually did my last layout and it went so quickly that I figured I would jump in and just do another one right away. So this is my next one. But I'm actually doing front and back and they're different things. So the front of this is the bakery. The back of this is actually a local bookstore called Bank Square Books. So hopefully this will go fast. I really only need to do, you know, maybe a couple small embellishments, fill in these pockets. Doesn't seem that hard. <laughs> we'll see what actually happens. I do know that for this side, I at least want to use something from here. I bought these a while ago. They're these lovely foiled stickers. Some of the colors do match. I freaking love them and I've been dying to use them. So I want to get at least one of them in here. For the backgrounds here in these pockets, I think I want to do at least one in brown because I have a brown jacket on. There's a brown sleeve around my cup here. There's lots of different shades of brown and I think this would probably be okay. So I'll probably cut down one and use it. I think I could also just use white because there is a lot of white happening here and I don't feel like it would be out of place here. Like it would be too stark. I think, I think it would be okay. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this off and make a two by two and I'll start there. I have my square cut now and I think I was looking at these and I either want this coffee grinder or perhaps this little cup that has the stir sticks in it. Oh, actually, you know what? I just noticed the little bag. I did get food there as well. Ooh, maybe I should use this one that's a little bag of beans. I didn't buy coffee, but it kind of matches or is that too close? Mm, maybe that's too close. Black would certainly jump out more. Oh, you know what? That's kind of close too. When I look at these, hmm, maybe it's going to have to be this cup then. Maybe this, this, this cup, or the cup with the stir sticks. I added some elements here to my little pocket card. I have the cup that I talked about before, and then I put some little beans on there. But I think I'm also going to do a little bit of splattering, just, just a tiny bit of white on there to bring that out since there's white in so many other ones. Oh my gosh, this is so, it's on there so tight. Oof, I might need help opening that. Whew, that was a toughie. The RA has become so bad in my hands that it's hard for me to get a grip on things like that. And that was just not, <laughs> not happening. So I had to go run it under hot water to loosen it enough and then I was able to get it. I want just a little up here in this corner if I can. I'm actually gonna touch it, I try not to do that. There we go. Hopefully that's enough and I hope this thing doesn't seal shut so tightly. I'm gonna try to be careful with how, how tightly I close it there because whew, that was a pain. I thought that maybe I would do white down here but now I've decided no I'm going to take my other piece that was left that I cut off and use it in this pocket and I'm using the silver coffee pot because really when else am I going to use that might as well use it now and I'll pull off some more of the beans and arrange them like I did here and you know what dang it I shouldn't have closed up my white ink because turns out I'm going to need it again after all luckily this time it opened easily <laughs> it's probably still loose from the hot water but I did try to put it on a little less severely yeah I'm gonna try to have to just touch it again that's one thing I have noticed about this particular brand is because it's a gloss spray, it's thicker. It doesn't come out quite as easily as like a Tattered Angel's Mist or the Heidi Shine, that kind of stuff. I still love it because it's the best white I have found that actually shows up on everything. But just be warned if you buy it, it is a little bit thicker. 
All right, there we have that one. You can tell it's foiled. Hopefully the white is showing up nicely for you. It's already dry. That's a great thing about this. At least it is quick drying. So that's done. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to put anything else on here. I thought about, oh, maybe I should put some little stickers that say yum or breakfast or coffee break or something. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't, I don't think I need to do that. So I think this side is done. Now I'm going to flip over and work on the books. I have pulled out a bunch of stuff that I have that is all book and reading themed. Yes, I have that much. Of course I do. I love books. I used to do a TN chronicling all the books I've read with reviews and everything. So I still have a lot of stuff left. I did actually give some of my stamps away because I just knew that if I'm not doing that project anymore, it would it would leave them sitting in my bin a lot. I, they wouldn't get used. So I kept the ones I liked the most that I thought I would use. So I have those in here. Don't know that I'll use any for this, but I also have some stickers in there, some ephemera, there's even acrylic piece in there. And then I have several papers that have books and things on them. So I'm just gonna look through these and see like what, what is in here that I can use? Like, I think this is way too busy given the busyness of the photos, but maybe, maybe there's something else I can do. As I'm going through everything here, I took out a bunch of my ephemera pieces and I really like these two. Now they're too big here. I'd have to cut them down even more, but I do like them. I really like this one. But would I need an alarm clock in this setting? No. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I should keep that one, if I should use it. But I like the idea of these books like as opposed to this. This is crazy busy. This is a lot more contained. I could also just do a plain background and put some other things in here. Like I have that with a book on it. This nose in a book. That's probably a little, yeah, a little too big. I love this one that says bookworm, but there's just not a lot of green in here. So I'm, I'm not sure that that's gonna go. So I don't know. I have to piece together something out of here. And if all else fails, I do, you know, have these stickers. Maybe I could just do those. Um, I don't know that any of these colors really, really match that well either. These might be better because I have some more neutral tones in there. I don't know. I will mess around with it and see what I can come up with here. Okay, I have an idea going, but it required that I moved some photos. I actually chose to move this one to here. And then I moved these that were in this row. I moved them up. And I really only did that because there's some purple on here. And I noticed that on the Prince book, there was purple as well. So I'm trying to pull that out. So I do have this book and this one they both have purple in them there's also this little bust here that has a little purple label that might be fun to use in there so i'm just trying to figure it out but most of the purple i think i would want here and after that i really i really don't know so i think i'm going to design this one first and i'll go from there i decided to go with a lighter brown here not the same brown that was on this side that's kind of too dark this is just a hair lighter. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. And I chose that one because it matches this shelving really well that's there. I had thought about using the scraps that I have, this crumpled paper, but it's it's way too busy, I think. I like that it was kind of a lighter shade of, you know, and there's some white in there, but it's just too much. So I chose this. Not sure if I'm going to use it up here as well, but for now I'm going to use it in this bottom one. I have my stickers here and I have taken off one of these shelf stickers and I'm just going to go like that and get it fairly centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I want to use this little bust that I talked about. So I think I'm going to set that like right there. And that gives me room for one little skinny book on the side. Ooh, maybe this one right here. Does this peachy match? It's not bad. I mean, it's not hideous. Let's do it. I'll take out the peach one there. Building our own, our own pocket card here, and that's okay. So there's that one. 
All right, we got it started. I will continue to build that one and then I'll be back. Voila, we have this one built. And what I decided to do was make sure I had varying colors and then also heights. I didn't want them all the same height across. This green one I actually left a little bit up there because it was the same height as this coral one and I didn't want that. And you know what, actually now that I see it, would the coral be better to move to there in terms of color? Ooh, can I, can I lift this up? <gasps> I can, I'm gonna try it. I switched that one around and these are, kind of the same height but I don't mind it because I like the color mix better I think the green looks better over here and it is noticeably shorter I think it'll be fine so that one's gonna go down there now I have to figure out what am I doing here am I building just another shelf with the books that are left or maybe adding a little flower you know vase that's here I don't know I've decided to use the same background and just build another floating shelf. I did choose to move this one up just so they don't look exactly the same. So it's at a different height. And then I used an anchor that has white in it just like this, but I moved it to the other side so that they are opposite. I just like that from a visual perspective. So now I can go ahead and build the rest of this with the remaining stickers. Here's the second pocket card finished. So I built it in much the same way varying widths and heights and colors away from each other so that they would look good. That one's gonna go there. And I realized on here, I have all these little silver stars. I'm wondering if I should mix those around kind of in the empty spaces or if I should leave it. I might try a couple, see what I think. I did end up choosing to add three stars. I have one, two, three and hopefully you see them but they're not super noticeable they don't detract from anything it's a very busy layout anyway but I love it I love books I love bookstores so this this is perfect I'm very happy with it so now I have both of these done for New York thanks for watching